What's going on, guys? This is KNasty3, and I'm here. Welcome back to an episode of the Detroit Tigers Realistic Franchise, episode 19, year 2023. We have made the playoffs every year in this franchise. We've lost in the World Series. That was our best year in 2021. Last year, we lost in the ALCS. So, we have a pretty good team, though. It's a very weak division. I mean, Betts, Ben Attendee, he become from the Red Sox. Rixie was our first pick in the first draft that we had. Number one overall pick. He looks to be a stud. Pretty good lineup. Um, pitching. Fulmer, Mize, Logan Allen was rookie of the year last year. Bo Burrows and Matt Manning. Bullpen is a strength. As long as injuries don't aren't a big like problem, I think we should be fine. We're going to have uh, a late pick in the draft, so nothing too crazy in that. But let's see how we do. All right. Let's fix AAA. That should be good. Now let's just make sure the lineups and the minors are all set. Okay, those guys are playing. Boom, boom. Let's continue with the season. And we're right around 500, which isn't great. Condelario's a day or two. That's fine. He, if he doesn't perform... Ooh, Indians interest in a trade. Daniel Pina, uh, Pinero, who's a shortstop. 74 overall. I mean, he's not a bad bench but guy. Depth from Miles J, a starter who is 77 overall. He's 31 years old. I'd rather the shortstop because, well, no, we have a lot of them. I'll take the starter, actually. He's a 77 overall. We might need him, so I'll do that. And we can't really just go out and make trades. So we're going to have to send him down to the minors. And I want to make sure it didn't screw up our lineup. Okay, Condelario is actually hitting pretty well. Um... That will get fixed. Means isn't pit hitting great. Bram actually is. I don't know who's going to play. We'll figure that out next year at the latest. Maybe this year. I'll say this. Casey Mize is out for a few days. If Condelario gets hurt, whoever's playing better in the minors is going to get the call. Or healthy. Manny Margot got traded for Danny Sal Salazar and Roman Quinn. And we are right around 500. Nick Magadol got traded for Jonathan Davis and Steven Batista. J.P. Crawford's only out for a few days. Right, let's just make sure our lineup is all set. They didn't get all wonky on us. That looks fine. Pitching's fine. Man, Mize is terrible. Logan Allen's not been great. Burroughs has been fine. Manning has been terrible. Javier's been all right. Bullpen's been okay. Will Smith hasn't. Feliz, he might get the call soon. I'll go a little bit longer with um, Manning, but yeesh. Lineup, Ricks, he's hit 251, only seven home runs, which is not bad when he hit 13 last year. Scooter's doing scooter things. Mookie's not having a great year, only 255, five home runs. Benintendi, 279, 11 home runs. Got that big time contract, as you can see. Condelario, 291, only two home runs. It's a little worrisome. JP Crawford, 291, seven home runs. Guzman's not hitting. Christian Stewart actually is, and Jake Rogers is. We're only a game out of first place, though. So, could be worse. So, let's continue. Uh, luck we haven't... I probably just jinxed myself. We haven't had any big-time injuries. So we have the 30th pick. How do the Yankees have two competitive balance picks? Get the F out of here. <laughs> Round 221. Compensatory picks. Look at The Yankees just got 1,000 draft picks. Competitive balance, and the Yankees get extra draft picks. Get the F out of here. Ooh, I'm intrigued by this kid. He's only a 50 overall out of the 2080 skill. He's only a 19. I, I like him. I'm probably going to take him. Another first baseman who has more power, but he's a year older. But I'd rather have the power. Injury risk low. What was the other injury risk on that first other first baseman who's 19? Low. So 65, 70 contact. Let's see if I do this. Here we go. 65 contact versus both. 80 and 70 power for CJ Larkin, who's a year older. 60 fielding. Vision 60. Discipline 55 at the best. I don't care about speed and whatnot. 65, 70 contact, 55 and 60 power, 60 vision. Yeah, I like Larkin more. He's a year older, but I like him more. 
hey, maybe he's available. The other first baseman's available when we draft again. I think he is. Ah, no, he's not. Damn it. All right. Um, this left fielder might be a few years away. He's 21. Might be the best option, though. Yeah, let's take him. Johnny Switzer. Probably the Yankees took him. We'll see where he, um, what his overall is, and his potential um, after the draft. Hopefully, we made the right pick. All right, we have no one else available. The second baseman who could be ready soon. I doubt he's going to be that good, but he could have great contact and fielding. And at second base, I mean, even like let's say he's like a seventy-one overall with like a seventy-five potential, he could be a bench bat. Um. All right, I'm going to just take some shot in the darks now on some 80 overall potentials. Could have 80 walks per nine. I'll take a chance on a starter. Usually I hit on a couple of these, I feel like. Not always, but usually. Um, let's see. A third baseman. Let's take a chance on the third baseman here. And then round six. Got a little itch on my, my mustache. And, yeah, we'll take Klaubov. Ugh. Uh, okay, it, it got better. Um, so Larkin, unfortunately, only a 78 potential. You can see there's some power there, but yeah. Switzer has 89 potential, and he's only a 49 overall, and he's 21 years old. But hey, let's just see what happens. Uh, Tran, only a 60 overall, 68 potential, not a good pick. 81 potential from Manny Gonzalez, shot in the dark. That uh, worked out. This third baseman, 89 potential, 51 overall, he's only 19, there's some power there, 89 potential, and then Claw Balf has a 60 potential. Now, where was that other first baseman? Did I make the wrong pick? If he has like 99 potential, I'm going to cry. That might have, I think that was it. Carlos Arnez, who so he went to the Astros, I'll just double check, 84 potential. So that was probably a bad pick. I think that was his name, I'm just going to double check. Shame. It is what it is. Yeah, that wasn't him. I don't, I don't think that was him, no. I should remember the name. Wow, 98 potential on this starter. That's pretty good. All right. So let's move forward with the season. Mookie bets one to two months. All right, um... Well, why don't we do this? Let's call up. Dustin Peterson, probably. Or we'll put Das Cameron in the lineup. And we'll call up Dustin Peterson to the bigs. But we're going to move Christian Stewart there. There we go. What is he out for? Fractured foot, one to two months. That's a bummer. At least we're five over 500. And just keep him on the 10 day. Ah, oh, jeez, and here's a big losing streak. Ah, <laughs> now we are not as good without Mookie. That's the fact. Oh my. Danny Salazar got traded again for Franco and Max Muncy. Jeez, that like killed our season. Wilmer Flores at first. Not really having a great year, so I don't really want to give up anything for him. I might actually go in sell mode. We're 46 and 52. Only six and a half back. Let's see if we can do anything internally. Mize has been terrible. 5-7-4. Logan Allen's been good. Bro's been fine. Matt Manning is a god-awful. All right. We need to get rid of him. Flores has been okay in AAA. So we're going to call him up. Matt Manning is going back to the minors, where he obviously belongs. I waited too long to do that. 
And line up. How's Daz doing? He's actually not bad. Yeah. Um, bullpen. Volker has been terrible. I'll, let's just wait. A, let's go through the trade deadline. Let's go up to the trade deadline. And let me just add some people to the update the trading block. So let's put um, put some bullpen people like Will Smith. Let's put Scooter Jeanette, Condelario. Dennis Means is now at 82 overall. Jeez. Kind of want to give him a chance. I'll add him to the trade block, though. Joe Kelly, who's pitching all right. Braham, who's hot, who's improving. I'll add him. I, I mean, I'll just add them because, like, what if, like, a team just blows us away with a pro an offer on one of those guys? I have both of them. If I trade one, I know I have the other, you know? Um, I'll put Crawford on this, too. So let's put starters, second, first. We don't need third. Maybe shortstop and center field. Oh, and catcher. I will probably get rid of first base because we have Guzman. So let's just uh, well, let's go through the uh, All Star game. Mookie Betts. No, okay, that is big. So let's put Mookie back in this lineup. That is that's a, that could be a difference maker. All right, um, and let's see who made the All-Star game. Megden. So freaking good. No one on our team made the starting rotation. And no one made the... Oh, Will Smith did. He might be our lone guy. Um, ben Intendi made it. Okay, 309, 20 home runs. Jock Pearson made it on the Rays. Yeah, that's it. National League. Um, anyone from our team? I don't think so. Sorry, I have a cold. Apologies. How good is Soto? Okay, he's really good. Aaron Judge <coughs> signed with the Cubs. Not great contact, but 30 home runs. So, all right, let's go to the trade deadline. And, uh... See what happens. Hopefully we can get hot here. Or we suck and it just kind of... Sam Hook, a closer, got traded for Sterling Sharp. <laughs> Sterling Sharp. Um, Jack Reinheimer and Oscar Mercado. Alright, I think that sealed our season. Nine and a half back. It's a shame. We just couldn't... I don't know. We just couldn't pitch. We actually are hitting. We have the best offense in the division, the worst pitching. So, uh... Unfortunately, we can't just, like, trade a guy. We put him out there. But no one's offering him. I mean, I could see if there's a prospect that a team's been putting out there. And then I can go trade him and trade one of the guys we have on him. With our rules in this franchise, that's what I'd have to do. So I'm just looking to see if there's any A potentials down here. B potential for a catcher, but he's not good. Yeah. I mean, I don't think... The thing is, other than Will Smith, I don't think any of them are free agents. Scooter Jeanette's a free agent, but he shouldn't be too expensive. Um, Fulmer's a free agent, but I'm going to re-sign him. Condelaro's a free agent, which I don't care. Same with Kelly, Alvarado... Jimenez, I mean, yeah, that kind of sucks, all those guys. But, and you know what? Maybe we get hot. I don't know. Let's see. Or not. Huh? Huh? <sighs> That's one of our starters. How good was he doing? The guy we just called up was Flores. 498, I mean, that's for a number five starter, is not great. Um, we gotta call someone up. Javier's our long man's been pretty bad. Manning's been terrible in triple A. Hall's been good in triple A, so we'll call him up. Moeller's been really good in triple A as an 18 year old. I'm gonna keep him down there. 
Hopefully, just Rixie's having a good year. He's 256, 15 home runs, only 18 stolen bases. But Bram's having a great year. 324 average, 9 home runs. Means, jeez. Yeah, I so I wish they, you guys are saying edit a secondary position, but that's just I think that's cheating. Man, um, yeah, he's an 83 overall, but the thing is, Condelario actually he's not really hitting now. But I'll just not waste their service time. Now, if, if they get hurt, I mean, Condelario gets hurt or something. All right, we're actually getting hot. We're now game over 500. We're only three and a half out of this. Nine out of the division. I mean, the wild card. So it's literally the Indians. When do we play them again? Please tell me we play them. Okay, we play them there. We are actually in this. Which is nuts. All right. We're a game back. And six out of the wild card. I mean, crazier things have happened. We've won four in a row. Unfortunately, they've won six in a row. Um, let's make sure Ben Attendee's back in this lineup. Leading offers left-handed? What the F? No. Goodrum's playing, but Rixie's not? What the F? Like, they just... I don't know why they do this. Alright, that's fine. Matt Hall, wow! <laughs> Makes no sense. A 2.76 ERA. Not a good pitcher. He's pitching well in AAA, so I gave him a chance. He's a 30-year-old. Crap, Matt Manning's back in the, on the team. Mookie got hot. He has 25 home runs. He hasn't even had a full year. Christian Stewart has 27 home runs. That's not too bad. So we are playing Cleveland coming up. Oh, crap. We just lost three in a row. All right. We are two games back. We got Casey Mize versus DeGrom. Tristan McKenzie versus Logan Allen. And then please be... And then Bo Burrows versus Mark Leiter. Oh, we swept them. That's the last time we play them. Then we get a homestand. Minnesota. Terrible team. I mean, we got swept. Then we won the next four. We're three and a half up on the Indians. Holy cow. Minnesota's 61 and 95. And we lost to them again. Or oh, we just went to score 20 runs in the game. And we won the division. <laughs> Wow, um, I want Flores back in this rotation. Ah, uh, no. Uh, where's Matt Hall? There he is. I want him on the team. Flores, I want like just because he's young. Bo Burrows is a three-three-two ERA. That's nice to see. I mean, Casey Mize sucked. Though. That kind of sucks. But how the hell? We got swept at the end of the season. Doesn't matter. We won the division by five games. Wow. I thought we were done for. And I was like trying to trade people. Top prospects. We probably... Where is Dennis Means at nine? He looks good. I just wish his feeling and durability were higher. But he's going to hit. Um, He'll be on the team next year. And I bet you Bram is now going to be on this. He should be. Feliz's starter is at 31. Uh, Ray Franco, a first baseman, B potential. He is at 38, and that's it. Let's take a look at some awards. Matt Olson and Aaron Judge got MVPs. Aaron Nola and Sean Newcomb got Cy Young. Kyle Tucker and Juan Soto batting titles. Robbie Scott and Jordan Hicks, relievers of the year. Rookie of the year, Todd McConnell is 21. That's a really good rookie. Holy cow. And Eric Hammock, 24. Really good rookie. I don't have a problem with that. Did we get any awards? The answer to that is... Is... Ben Attendee. <laughs> One award. I don't care. We won the freaking division. I'm a little worried... <coughs> about the... Uh, about the... Um, starting rotation. But we'll figure it out in the playoffs. Rexy hit 259. He does get on base. So 342. 19 home runs. Only still 23 bags. But he's improving, so that's important. 
a war 4.2. That's not bad. Scooter Jeanette, 274, 24 home runs. Not as good the last couple years. He's 32. Mookie Betts, 306. Only played 120 games. Hit 27 home runs. So that's more than he did last year in 153 games. So that's a nice year. Benintendi, 312. 37 home runs. That's a great year. His war was 8.3. Condelaro, 252. 12 home runs. Christian Stone going to move him up. Hit 31 home runs. J.P. Crawford, 246, 24 home runs. Same year <coughs> that he's had in the past. Guzman, 253, not great average, but 23 home runs. I'll take that. And then Jake Rogers, 268, 15 home runs? Damn, that's really good for 400 something thousand dollars. That was a war of 3.3. So, that's it for the season. Surprise, we made the playoffs. Great comeback. We'll be playing the... Boston Red Sox in the playoffs. I will see you then. The Yankees are not in it, so I'm happy. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take it easy. Peace.